Well, Harley, I suppose it's the words that most people want to hear, especially if they're back for Fremantle. How good is it to be back? Yeah, it's really good. You know, um, it's my second game back. Um, Carver's feeling great. Mine's feeling great. And it's just, um, yeah, good to be back out in the park with the boys. Did it teach you a little bit about how much you love the game, how long you're away from it as well? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I love the football um, and just the support I've had from Ross um, and my family in the football club and the boys around the football club have been, um, been good. There's obviously a few incidents that we've heard about and read about. How frustrating was it and how hard was it to sort of keep everything together? Um, as I said before, look, it's good just to have the support that I've had um, over the past year and a bit. Um, and, yeah, we're just looking forward to the future and, um, yeah, we'll look, we'll look forward to the future. So there were some times it was a bit tough, though, for you? Yeah, as, as um, life is, you know, we have our ups and downs, but, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, um, to the future. I suppose the other thing is, how's the calf? I saw you get it rubbed about a thousand times today. Uh, how's it feeling? Yeah, really good. Um, Marshall Stockton just all the time rubbing it um, at the club as well and um, yeah, you know, it's pulled up well. How close do you feel like you're getting back to your physical best and being able to trust the body again? Um, well, I feel like I'm getting back to my best but they, they just hold me back a little bit but um, yeah, I'm feeling good. That must be hard too when they look at the numbers and how long you've been out there and they tell you you've got to put the boots away but you'd probably still like to be out there. Yeah, I mean growing up playing football, um, you know, I hate being told what to do on the field but um, yeah, you know, it's, when I've got to stop, I've got to stop. So. So what's in the immediate future, Harley, now? What do you think? Do you, can you make it back to the AFL level by the end of the year? I know that's not your decision in entirety, but do you think? Do you feel like you're ready to get back and have a crack at it? Um, oh, look, we'll, we'll take uh, week by week. You know, we'll get assessed Monday, and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. There's no um, time bracket on the, when I'll be back playing AFL, but, you know, it's week by week. You're obviously a pretty competitive young man, though. You'd like to have, have a crack at it, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I play AFL for a reason. I'm competitive, and, um, yeah, it'd be good to be back out there. And I suppose it's just now you get back out there, you're able to do what you love again. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, uh, yeah, it's good that we couldn't get the win today, but um, look, it's good to be back playing football finally. Well done, mate. Thanks, how, mate. How close Thanks, do you mate. think you're feeling to, to moving your best, like like you did at your peak? Um, I think today the numbers show that um, I'm still capable of running running the game out, but I I got stopped today mm. uh, in the last quarter. So um, yeah, look, my fitness is there, but it's just some of the numbers I just got to hit to um, stop playing. So. Yeah, you had a couple of moments, in the, particularly second quarter, where you went in and out of packs with a lot of, quite easily, you, that lateral movement's still there, you haven't, you haven't lost any of that. Yeah, no, I think um, it's good that it's still there, you know, I haven't, I feel like I haven't lost um, my touch, but um, yeah, as I said before, look, I'd, it's good to be back out there playing footy.